If dystopian sci-fi has taught me anything, it's that sooner or later people are going to get bored of reality shows like Keeping Up With The Kardashians and start demanding blood. That's going to require the creation of whole new reality shows, as tempting as it would be to just introduce chainsaws and grenade launchers to X Factor and leave it at that. But why bother coming up with new ideas when you can just copy them from video games? Here are seven heinous video game reality shows to keep in mind when you're coming up with your programming schedule, Future TV Networks. There's a lot to be said for straightforward names when it comes to game shows. I mean, no one's going to forget what the grand prize is in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire or what you've got to do in Touch the Truck. But Flashback's game show is bluntly titled even by those standards. Death Tower takes place in a tower where you're likely to die. To win, you have to work your way up through eight levels of decreasing size, avoiding teleporting terminators, hovering drones and explosive traps. Good job there are those signs everywhere to remind everyone this is a TV show, otherwise someone might mistake it for some kind of massacre. And yet, I'd still rather go on this than Hell's Kitchen with Gordon Ramsay. You'll have to use all of your beautifully rotoscoped agility to survive Death Tower, though at least they let you turn up in your streetwear like it's casual game show Friday or something. The prize for risking your life and winning this show is a ticket to Earth, though I'd get them to specify exactly where on Earth if I were you. As planets go, it's a bit of a mixed bag. <laughs> This is not the five-star, all-expenses-paid city break I was expecting. And now, it's time for America's most dangerous game show. It's time for Terror is Reality. Terror is Reality is a reality game show from Dead Rising 2 based on killing zombies as hilariously and dangerously as possible. It seems like the America of Dead Rising took all those zombie outbreaks personally and is looking for revenge, which is a bit like people in 1918 setting out to punch the influenza virus. But whatever makes you feel better, guys. Zombies took our Willamette. They took our Las Vegas. But tonight, America, we're going to get a little payback. So, the Terror is Reality producers capture a bunch of zombies, stick them in an arena, and then offer cash prizes to contestants willing to get close enough to kill them in creative and entertaining ways. Hey, buddy. I heard you lost your wife in Vegas. I guess you suck at killing zombies, otherwise she'd still be around! <laughs> nice guys. The show is made up of several events, from Ramstable, where contestants crush zombies in big roly balls, to Headache, where the aim is to stick blender hats on zombie heads and switch them on. The main event, however, is Slicicle, where each contestant is given a motorbike with a couple of chainsaws taped to it and told to go nuts. Best of all, each event is only about a minute long, so it's perfect for today's short attention spans, and it's not like they're going to run out of zombies anytime soon. Have you seen it out there? Rider, the greatest challenge of your criminal life has begun. Uh, what? That's right. Freedom can be yours if you survive Toxic Grind. In the dystopian future of Toxic Grind, extreme sports like inline skating, BMXing and skateboarding are outlawed because well, they never actually explain why, but it's probably on account of how rad to the max they are. Anyone caught being rad is sentenced to take part in the game show Toxic Grind, which injects them with a poison which will kill them if they BMX badly. You know, that, that poison. The worse you perform, the more it pumps into your veins. Unfortunately, there aren't any good BMX riders in the future, probably because BMXing is illegal, so the producers of Toxic Grind are forced to open a time portal and pull a young BMXer from the year 2002 into the future to compete against their BMX gladiators. The the rules are simple, boy. If you outride Crank, you advance to the next round. If not... Yeah! 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 I don't know, man. It seems like people really like BMXing. You should probably just make it legal. The 1990 arcade game Smash TV imagines a future where television has adapted to the more violent nature of man. What's a bit alarming is that the game didn't see this murderous game show happening in a dystopia hundreds of years from now. Smash TV predicted Smash TV would happen in 1999. So little faith in humanity. In Smash TV, the contestants have to blast through waves and waves of enemies collecting prizes and listening to the host rip off Robocop over and over again. I'd buy that for a dollar. Don't worry, he gets his in the end. I love it! 
<laughs> Sadly, though Smash TV delivers in terms of quantity of prizes, the quality of them hasn't exactly gone up to match the increased danger. <laughs> what am I going to do with 800 brand new toasters? <laughs> this ball experience the phenomenon that is taking the world by storm. <laughs> Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. <laughs> Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax is... I want to say it's a reality TV show, but I'm not even sure this thing is being televised. It's more of a Saw movie with fewer amputations and more nut shots. It all takes place in the lab of the Professor Genki of the title. It doesn't say what he's a professor of, but going on the fact that he's a six foot tall nightmare cat in an evil Knievel jumpsuit, I'm going to guess it's something amazing. The aim is to kill costumed mascots, shoot ethical targets and avoid unethical targets and to dodge flamethrowers and electric gates until you've earned enough money to open the lab doors and escape with your winnings. <laughs> hey, at least it keeps everyone involved off the streets, right? Hey, welcome to Mega Race, the action show where violence only happens once every few seconds. Back in 1993, when the word mega was associated with cool, futuristic things and not ancient history and buses, Mega Race introduced the world to Lance Boyle. One of the most painfully unfunny video game characters of all time, Boyle's job seems to be to preload you with road rage before you even get out on the circuit. In each Mega Race, the enforcer tries to get past the pack leader's sidekicks, then catch up with their boss and eliminate him. The sidekicks try to stop that from happening. That's the kind of scum they are. In his show, you declared road war on vicious criminal gangs by blowing them up in deadly televised races. The game itself is a bizarre combination of pre-rendered video of the circuit with cars pasted on top, making it less like an accelerator pedal and more like a fast forward button. Then it's back to the studio for more from Lance. Hi there, tiger. All psyched up? Yeah, I keep that adrenaline thumping. Are you coming on to me? Technically, Mega Race isn't a reality TV show, it's a virtual reality TV show which sort of robs the whole murderous racing thing of its life or death drama. Good job it's got such a charismatic host to keep things entertaining then. Tune in next time to Mega Race, where we'll have a real enforcer to admire. I'm Lance Boyle, and you'd be too if you were me. I call that dodging a bullet, Lance. The way you win is by competing against each other in a series of light-hearted and potentially lethal games. Do I know how to get ratings or what? Whacked is a show in which contestants have to compete in deadly games in the hopes of winning a grand prize. They won't tell us what it is, but with that amount of security, it must be good. The prize! <laughs> Competing for this grand and mysterious prize are a diverse bunch of contestants, including a rabbit whose feet were taken by a good luck charm factory, a mostly nude woman? Okay and whatever this is. Let's have a delicious helping of applause for Tooth! The rounds include Chicken, where you have to kill chickens, Dodgeball, which, I mean, it's just Dodgeball, and Combat, where the contestants just wail on each other with bizarre weapons. Who wants to walk in the gob? Plus, there's a big red button that changes the rules. And by change the rules, we mean conjure a bunch of missiles out of thin air and fire them into the contestants' faces. Whoa! Not the face! Not the face! No wonder they can attract sponsors of the caliber of My First Chainsaw. Now, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Those were the future reality shows we won't be auditioning for when the time comes. If we missed your favorites, let us know in the comments. And remember, you can win big prizes by liking this video, subscribing to Outside Xbox, and taking part in the 15-story Outside Xbox death maze. What? No death maze. Look, we said at the budget meeting that... Okay, fine, no death maze, but like and subscribe anyway, why not? See what happens. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. All right, thank you for watching that video about horrifying reality shows from the future where you'll probably die. What probably won't kill you, though, is clicking on one of these videos underneath me. There's playlists you for show of the week. Definitely, that's a guarantee Promise. from Jane Douglas, and you can take that to the bank. So over there is show of the week like that way. I've been pointing down too much recently, I've noticed. So I'm going to... I don't even know if this is... There we go. Over there. Show of the week. Press that and you can watch Show of the Week. All of them ever and they're great. And un underneath me, directly underneath me, look down there is yeah. the... Yeah, I can see them. Down there is the feature playlist and you can watch those. Those are videos that are sort of like this one, but they're not this one. I mean, you could watch this one again if you want to, but if you want something different, you could watch one of those. So, I mean, many options, two options for you there. There's options, with it, you know, it's more than one, so that's good. And uh, yeah, they. Everyone's clicked away by now. <laughs>
I was, I'm, in, I'm in my flow. You're breaking the. T oh, apparently, these don't work on mobile either. So if you're watching this on mobile, I apologize. But please watch more videos. And Otherwise, the is dead. <laughs> what? What the is that, Mike? We killed television. There you go. Our quality videos. Bold claims from Mike there. <laughs> so <laughs> click on one of these, and we will see you next time. Bye.